Okay, in this video we're going to go through how to set the code in your ADS Dominator system so that it will work with your new compatible ADS remote. What you will need is the code that would have come with the remote and also a screwdriver to open up the back of the system there are four screws that hold the back cover off but it's advisable to first unplug the power so we'll go ahead and unplug the power so that the power is off and it's safe to remove the cover for this exercise I've already removed some of the screws so I need the other two screws off and we'll swing it around this is a connector holding onto it and as you can see here are all your little dip switches so what you need to do is match those little dip switches to the code which is written on your piece of paper as you can see I've already done that one is in minus so one is in minus and 2 is in plus, no, sorry, 2 is in minus as well. 3 and 4 are in the middle, in 0. 5 is plus, 6 is 0, 7 is minus, 8 is 0, 9 is plus. Okay. Then what we do next is put the cover back on. When putting it on, just make sure it's all lined up. And you see the little holes are lined up. Grab your screwdriver. Okay, for this exercise I've just screwed in two screws. Normally, if you're going to have it operating, you'd want all four screws to make sure it's nice and secure. For this purpose, I've just done the two screws. And what we'll do now is plug the power back in. Excuse the fact that uh, I don't have an assistant at them today, so um, I just uh, have to put the phone down for one second. So basically what I'll be doing is plugging in the power. Okay, now that we've returned, power's plugged in, lights are on, indicating it's ready. All three lights. So if we grab our remote control, just give it a press. Yeah. And your old Dominator remote should work as well. 